You found a winner in your A-B test, but now what? Let's say you have a beautiful button test and on the one hand you said learn more, on the other one you said buy now. Um, which do you think is going to win out of those? Let's make some assumptions here. A learn more doesn't sound so scary, so more people click, but maybe they don't expect uh, somebody to buy something, so maybe less people buy, but more people had a chance to buy. On the other side, the buy now button is a bit scary and less people click, but those people who click are more committed. And at the end, you will see that one version makes you more revenue than the other. But it might not only be this simple A-B test. It, it might be that a, that a certain portion of your users react way better to the learn more and another portion of your users um, react better to the buy now button. What are you going to do now? Are you going to wait for your developer team to implement your change in a couple of weeks when it's in the pipeline? Or do you want to be able to just do that for yourself temporarily? That's what we are going to cover today. So let's look at this case study. Um, this is a really interesting um, case that um, our sponsor AB Tasty uh, got us. In this case, they tested uh, for a fashion store eight different pictures, um, colors of dresses with blonde and brunette or dar darker haired uh, models. And what they found out is that the blonde haired model worked 35% better in terms of the click-through rate, what people click in the shop, um, if they were wearing dark colored dresses. And if we put um, a more dark haired model into lighter colored dresses, the click-through rate went up 7.6%. This is also a great example of, uh, of A-B testing and, and how you can personalize that experience to people. And maybe you can even find out what kind of hair color your user has based on their behavior and then adjust the, the models and the dresses that can be shown there. So I think this is a case study that shows you that it is not always a simple A-B test, but a mixing of and matching of different versions that will then show you that for certain cases, this is true, for other cases, this is true. Um, Usually you start with a very normal A-B test. Yeah, you, I just showed you in the video before uh, the example with the WordPress, uh, with the workshop landing page from Pirate Skills. And um, you, you think like, okay, what could we do better on this website? And you think, well, we definitely need a bigger, brilliant call to action that says, become your own growth marketer. Yeah, you can see this here. This is this huge call to action button that I changed before it was learn more. Learn more is pretty conser conservative. Become your own growth marketer is pretty bold, but it's also very wide. So it might be a problem on mobile. So I made the choice to just target people on desktop users to see this test. And let's assume this test runs really well. The new version now, um, now it's like 20% better click-through rate. What do you do now? Do you, do you wait for your developers to implement that change? Are you able to do this yourself? Lots of people, especially in bigger companies, don't have the ability to change the code on the website. But a B testing and a custom experience software gives you the ability to temporarily update that website until your dev team has done that. So how would we do this here? Um, first of all, in your A-B test, you, you define a certain objective. Yeah, um, this is, a, again, we look into uh, the mostly free tool, Google Optimize. Uh, and here you not only set up the test, you also have to connect it uh, to Google Analytics and hopefully you have some conversion goals set up. So in my case, a conversion goal is the primary one is that people download the overview PDF for all the workshops. At the very bottom, there's this download PDF and you can download it and you can download uh, something. And I want people to click that. And I, my, my button change 
only the only reason why why I did that change is, is because I think more people will download the overview. But I also have some secondary objectives like people who schedule a call, who go to the thank you page. So I've set up my objectives properly. I let the test run for one to two weeks at least. I wait until I have enough sessions so I have a statistically significant result. Um, but then um, I need to make a decision. Yeah, let's say this is the clear winner. Yeah, this gets a crown, beautiful crown. Yeah, not, not that beautiful, but let's live with it. Now you can say um, in the case of Google Optimize that you want to end this experiment yeah, here on the right hand side, there are like three dots, you press on it. You can say end and deploy. And what Google Optimize will do for you at this point is to take that A-B test and the A-B test usually has a specific end. You never intend to have 100% of people run on the A-B test forever. It automatically makes a, a personalization. Let me show you. Um, it creates it and now you can deploy this uh, new version with a become your own growth marketer call to action to your website. And you can send specific events uh, to Google Analytics, which really helps in the further analysis. And now your website is updated for all people where you decided that they should see it. And you don't have to do any coding for now. Yeah. And once your development team has caught up and they did the change, you can end this experiment. And but you could all already profit like the two to three weeks it often takes uh, for an IT ticket to, to get through the system. I hope your IT uh, is faster, but some are even way, way, way slower. Um, you don't have to wait for that. Your customers can already experience the better version. And I think this is a huge advantage. So um, if you want to get into the details of this, um, it is easier if you can download the slides and we got them on getpiratesgoods.com slash personalization. And then you can go back in your own time and follow this process along. We will also have the videos uploaded here on that side by Friday. Yeah, and we usually segment those videos really nicely like you can see here on the, on the past uh, meetup. And you will not only get access to this video series yeah, that we're doing right now, but to all of the last ones of the past two years. So it's really, it has become like this treasure chest of growth marketing know-how. 